Hi, today I want to talk about the NRF52840 and there's a new product from Nordic Semiconductor, the NRF52 dongle. And this includes the NRF52840 and it's very low cost. So if you want to get started and just have a product that you can also use in other projects so you can solder this to your own boards, then you can start this with around about 10 bucks. So let's start with the schematic maybe and we can have a look at all the board. So we have the NIF52840 on the small board and this is maybe the size of one finger. And we have the USB port and the USB port is protected by ESD protection diodes. You can see here this is a product from Nexperia and we have some diodes that protect us if we go above 5.5 volts so the rails is clamped to the ground and protect the chip. So this is this part and the NIF52840 have the advantage that we can use just straight the voltage from the USB bus. We go through some small capacitors and inductors just straight to the NIF chip. And then we have the 32 megahertz crystal and also the 32.768 kilohertz RTC crystal here. And then we have two diodes, one on my board's red diode for indicating something and also an RGB LED. And we can steer this with this GPIO pins 6, 8, I think 9 and 12. And we also need the antenna circuit here as you see and we have an wiggled antenna on this board. And then we have two headers. This is the programming header. You can use this with the you see this here. This is a small programming header adapter. So we can plug this straight to the board. And we can also use this solder adapter. It's maybe you see this here the adapter this is the adapter for the header connector and here we have solder adapter so beside the schematic we have also see this board layout here in the document and this is the back side and here you see this beautiful board in the 3d view and i use this link to get started with the and a 5284 dongle and we can maybe have a look at the minimum requirements we need just an type A USB port in Mac OS, Linux or Windows 7 or later PC and the NIF connect for desktop application. This is the absolute minimum. So we can start with the NIF connect desktop application and I follow the link and in my case I use the NIF connect installer for Linux. But as you might see this is not an installer file. This is just an out of the box application file. So but before we can start with the NIF connect desktop application. In my case I also need for my Ubuntu installation this UDEV rules and I've installed the UDEV rules manual. So I just copy this two files the 71 rule and the 90 rule and I go to my Nordic folder where the rules as you see the 71 rule and the 99 rule and I just copy them so we go sudo cp to etc the rules.d and the same with the 99 rule and then we just type sudo udev adm control minus minus reload minus rules and then we use also udev adm trigger and next thing we do we just start the nif connect image file on the command line so let's do this and as you see on the command line, we have the newest version and we can install some apps. So we can launch some app, but we have no apps installed. So maybe I install everything. So let's install the apps and do this a little bit bigger and start by using the Bluetooth low energy. First, we select the device and we have to program the device. Yes, I want to program this with the standard Bluetooth application. So we connect to the device and then we see what's going on. So we can have a look in the protocol 
and we see connect to the device with this hardware ID and as we see the firmware has to be programmed and we use this serial connection. Now we have the standard NRF connect application and we can set up our server so we can generically add some new service to our, to our device and new characteristics and so on. So new service we can use one of the service maybe we use the time service save it then Maybe we use a new characteristics and maybe we use the local time information. Maybe we have an initial value of zero zero and we want to read this and write this and notify. And if we notify, we also need a descriptor. So we use the client characteristic configuration as in descriptor then we also find a new characteristics maybe the time zone and we also define zero zero as the defi time zone so right notify save and then also in descriptor or the notify event save and now we can apply this to the device so i think this is done then we can also save or load our setup if we want to and then we start the advertising and now i can use my mobile phone and the NF connect app and connect to my device so so i scan for my device and now i have it and i connect it and as you see i connect from my galaxy samsung phone to this and now i can read the characteristics maybe i read the time zone as you see and can write some values so i write in 16-bit value one two three four and send it to the device and now you see this is hexadecimal d204 and the same with the time zone so maybe i just write two and the same in the other direction i can also send this to my device but now i have to read it or i just enable the notifying so as you see i've enabled the notifying so we have to see this so i now disable it again and as you see everything is reacting in real time so and now if i write to the characteristics some value maybe like so then we just send this to the phone application Maybe the value makes no sense, but it's only a demonstration. So we can also scan some devices, but I think this is a small start with the project. And sure, there's many things to do. So maybe write a new program and program this to the dongle chip and so on. Thank you for clicking my video. I hope you enjoy this and learn something. See you next time and bye bye.